Hey, this is Jeremy, and welcome back to Garage of Slot Cars. Um, today, I'm going to be adding a couple of Paul Gage tires. The new Cuda I got in the last video, and uh, I'll show you how I true them up right now. Um, it's not the best way. Get you by, and like I said, I had ordered a... Um, uh, a tire truer from um, Slot Car Corner, and I got an email from them. It was supposed to be here this month, um, and it says the original tire truer used a 380 can RC motor. As testing progressed, it became evident that the 380 motor was not up to the task, marginal or insufficient torque. As a result, a more powerful 540 can RC motors replaced the 380 can motor. It took time to source and test a motor with desired RPM torque characteristics. This has been completed. The 540 can motor is also physically larger than the previous motor, which meant several components needed to be redesigned. And uh, they said testing is currently underway. They also mentioned the threaded holes for the set screws that secure the 3D printed drive pulleys to the motor shaft and axle stripped out too easily. This was particularly apparent when using the new more powerful motor. Uh, new aluminum pulleys have been sourced. However, the estimated delivery from the machine shop is mid-January. So they say now it's, it's going to be late February, early March for delivery. So, um, but... I mean, it, it sounds like it's a good thing. Um, but it, uh, I don't want to, I'll put a picture of this tire you're waiting on. Um, this will be one of the complete axles will come out of Carrera, Pioneer, Scale Electric, cars with pressed on wheels. And it'll hold the whole axle and it'll true, him, true the tires up a uh, much better way than the way I'm going to show you. Um, the way I'm going to show you is kind of hard on the car motors. You don't want to overheat it. Um, but like I said, it'll get you by. Hey, and, uh, address some of the comments and questions. Gotten a couple comments about the audio. I agree. Um, especially out, especially out in the garage. Um, and when I tilt the camera, um, so I got a microphone. So, uh, hopefully that'll be fixed. Um, someone else asked me where I, where I'm filming at, if it was still the garage. Um, no, this is it's my basement. The dungeon, the 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 bunker. <laughs> my wife is uh my wife has sent me down here to do my to do my videos. So it's my old basement. Actually, wife has said I could uh I could turn this entire room into a slot car. She doesn't care, she doesn't come down here. But I don't really want to lose my place to get away and watch a football game or something on TV. I kind of like it the way it is. So anyway, um, onto this video here. I, I pre loose, uh, this is the slot car, the tire truer I have now. I bought it on eBay. It's just a power piece of power track. Um, I put some hundred grit or 220 grit paper. Um, just open up your car replace the tires. Um, I've done one. This one's a Paul Gage urethane. That's what I use out here. 21 uh, 10 5 LM. Um, there's a chart that tells you how to put some calipers on your wheels and measure them, figure out what size you need. Or Slot Car Corner has a chart. And if you go under by make, by model, like this one, I click Scale Electric, um, Plymouth Barracuda, it gave me this size. So, and I've already put one side on pre-video. Know that it works. Um, save some embarrassment there. <laughs> so, it's real easy. If you've never done this, take this off. Um, Scale Electric tires aren't too bad. Pioneer tires aren't too bad. Carrera tires, you want to get them off right away. They suck. Um, they're no good. Um you just pop it on there, seat it around. And like I said, slot car corner gives you the sizes. So we got Paul Gage urethane tires. Now these aren't completely square. They can be cupped. They can be bowed. Um, 
and they're really they got some residue junk on there so you really want to scuff them and true them so like i said the way i do it now put the car on here hold the paper and i keep it kind of light you don't want to press down at all um looks like it's getting one tire a lot harder than the other but you can see you can see the spots that it has sanded and the spots that it has sanded, hasn't sanded, 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 god dang, um, really I haven't been drinking yet tonight, later, um, so you keep going there. And it's easier on your motor to do kind of one wheel at a time. Um, that's another advantage of this tire tour I have coming is um, it should do both of them evenly. Um, and you'll be using that motor, not your uh, not your RC car motor. And that motor will get kind of warm. So especially the finer you go with the grit. Let's see that. I got them all. This is a harsher grit. Um, and then you go down to a finer grit and it'll smooth them up. That's a 220 grit. And then I usually finalize with a with a 400 grit and that gets them get some square flat um pretty grippy this will get you by um if you don't have a actual tire truer so uh front tires don't matter you actually want them just barely touching if anything so i don't do much with the front tires another uh neat thing with this tire truer when we take the axle out um i don't do it this way um, but I'll, I will true the wheels a little bit before I put the tires on. And I'm going to glue the tires on with that. Well, the way I do it now, since I didn't true the wheels, I don't think it matters so much if this tire spins on the wheel. And they, it would take a lot. Those Paul Gage, they grip that wheel. Um, I really don't think these tires are spinning on the wheels anyway. Um, but if I true the wheel kind of want them glued and then true the tire on the nice tire truer and they would stay. But for now, I just do this on my cars. It makes a world of difference. Even if you have stock tires, if you left the Skelectric rubber tires on here, I still do this. Um, this is like $60 on eBay. I searched um, tire truer. I don't remember. It's been a couple years ago. But... Uh, it keeps the mess off your track. Um, it's just easier this way. And uh, so now I'll uh, I'll put this to a Carson Digital chip, and then this will be ready to roll on my. Uh, well, I'll take the magnet out. I don't race magnets. Someone commented magnets are for toys, but <laughs> whatever. Uh, I think they're for beginners, for learners. Which is another thing I had, I had some very very basic questions from some beginners. I forget when we start out there. Someone even asked me where the lane change button on the controller was. Uh, I've had some very basic questions like uh, where the lane change button is, everything. So I, I forget there's some beginners. So I'm going to do a video um, of the very basic um, introduction to the digital features of a Carrera track. Um, some people have asked questions. They have no idea the difference between digital and analog um, other than switching lanes, maybe. But uh, so run some of the basics, make a video of some of the very basics of that. Um, sometimes we, for those of us that have done it for a little while, have uh, forget the questions we had at the very beginning, some of the very basic, easy stuff. And we forget to, uh, forget to uh, explain some of those things. So I'll do that. A um, uh, couple other little ideas for videos uh, coming up. So anyway, till next time, it's Garage of Slot Cars.
Um, some very, probably have my editor cut that one out. That was a big blooper. 